what does it mean to be jealous? Are you jealous? Am I jealous? Well, if you are jealous, let me tell you something. You might not have a lot of confidence in yourself because why? What is jealousy? When you are jealous of someone or something, you desire something that you cannot acquire, right? Ooh, look at that car that person has. I'm jealous that I cannot have that car that they have. Jealousy, it can really bring you down and it can really affect your day. And so my goal today is to talk about a few things that make you jealous and how you can overcome it and ways that you can improve your life by getting rid of that desire and just allowing life to happen. So a few things that I want you to think about. Don't worry about the people who aren't happy for you because they're probably not happy for themselves. And that is so true. All right. Not everyone in this world is going to be happy for you. They're not going to praise you. But happiness is not something that you can give others. Happiness is something that has to come from inside of you. When you look in the mirror and you can say, I am happy about you. I love you. Once you have that happiness within you, then you can share it with the world. Okay. So some people might be jealous of you because how they feel about themselves. So that's one thing to think about. People, they want to see you do well, but never better than them. Oh, that is so true. Hey, I hope you do well, but don't do better than me because if you do better than me, then I'm comparing myself to you and that probably means that I may not be as good as you. So I hope you do well, but not as well as me. You got to take that out of your arsenal. Okay, a flower, when a flower grows in a garden, this flower grows, that flower grows. The goal of the flower is to bloom. It does not care about the flower standing next to it. It does not say, hey, I'm here, you're there. I'm going to get bigger and brighter. I don't care what you get. I want to be the better flower. No, it just develops. And so you need to develop who you are. They're going to develop who they are. And once we get a sense of understanding that, hey, good for you, good for you. All right. My track team at state, we lost the state meet by half a point. Half a point came down to the last race. And at the end, my girls were all sad and some were crying. And I said, hey, we're going to go congratulate that other team because guess what? They just won. And so I asked my girls to go over to the other team and congratulate. And my two girls, two girls on my team, they went over and they hugged every single person on that other team that won. They beat us by a half a point. I got five emails from parents from the other team saying, I cannot believe the compassion that your girls had for our girls, even though they lost by a half a point. So don't judge yourself. Don't get jealous because of someone else. Encourage yourself and encourage them. Good point. Next. Don't count someone else's blessing, but count your own. Okay. It goes back to what they have, what I don't have. Be grateful for what you have. Don't wish that you had someone else's life. No, wish you had your life. Enjoy your life. Embrace your life and build up your life. Okay. The grass is not greener on the other side. You have no idea what that person went through to get to where they are. So become the best version of you. Let them become the best version of them. And as a community, we're going to become a better version of ourselves. There's no greater glory than the love and no greater punishment than jealousy. How true is that? When you have love for people, it's going to bring people up. You're going to be united. There's going to be compassion. You're going to feel empathy for people. But man, if you have jealousy, that will tear your community apart. This is what I got for a grade. That's what you got for a grade. This is how much money they make. This is how much money I make. Don't hang out with the rich people. The only reason they're rich is because they manipulate things. This group is poor. Don't hang out with the poor because no, you got to have love, not jealousy. Love will bring us together. Jealousy rips us apart every single time. I don't give any reason for anyone else to hate me. They create their own little drama out of jealousy. So as you go through your day, you have to live your life and I cannot control how that person feels about me. No matter what I do, I cannot control it, but I may think everything's going okay for me, but it is their decision, their opportunity, their consciousness to be jealous of something I have. And the same thing is true for me. If I'm going through my day and I see someone else that maybe has a better life than me or maybe has a better financial situation than me or maybe has something better than me, I make a decision thinking, hmm, I desire that. What I have is not good enough, so I desire something else. I got to stop that. 
I got to say what I have is okay. And if I want to get to where they have, guess what? I need to go talk to that person and be like, hey, how did you make six figures? How can I do what you did? How did you get your PhD? What can I do? Why are you so good at basketball? How come they're such a great team? How can I become better? Okay, that is what you got to be thinking. Jealousy, it's not going to help us. It's only going to hurt us. Winners focus on winning and losers focus on winners. Winners focus on winning, losers focus on winners. Many people don't like Tom Brady, Bill Belichick, Duke basketball, why? Because they win. People like winners, but when you win too much, they don't like you anymore. And why? Because they get jealous of what you're doing. They're focusing so much on the winners that they don't focus on themselves. Take that energy you put towards someone else that's being successful and put that energy into yourself. So you can have success. And then you're gonna find out when you're winning, hey, that's great. And when you're winning, you hope other people win. When you're winning, you do not look down upon those that are not winning, that are not having the same success as you. You encourage them, you hope they build something up so they can become a winner. And that's gonna be the mindset that we have to have, all right? Lack of self-confidence, abandoning yourself, dissatisfaction with yourself, that all leads to jealousy. You have to be okay with who is inside you first before you can be okay with everyone else outside of you. That's where your story starts. Your narrative starts with you. If you want something that someone else has, you're gonna be jealous of it because you don't have it. Be grateful for what you have and who you are. Desire, resentment, all can equal jealousy, all right? Don't be jealous of what you don't have. Allow things to just happen. Do not spoil what you have by desiring what you do not have. Jealousy. All of us are granted with gifts. All of us are given opportunities. All of us are blessed. But we blind ourselves to those blessings and those opportunities and those gifts by looking at what other people have. All right, I can make $50,000 a year and think, hey, I am living it up. But if I see my neighbor who's making $200,000 a year, they might be like, I, I, I don't make enough. Well, guess what? That neighbor that makes $200,000, there's another person that's probably making a million and so on and so on and so on. You cannot compare. You got to be happy with who you are and what you are. All right? That is what I'm trying to express to you today. Don't be jealous. Get rid of that desire. Be okay with who you are first because you got to love yourself before you can send that love to other people. All right? Appreciate you watching. My name's Tim Burning. This is a teaching moment with Tim. If you like what I'm doing, subscribe, hit that like button. Otherwise, pass that love out. Don't give out jealousy. Have a good day.